All right, hi there, YouTube is me, Mercy in America, and in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to get to Japanese PS2 and what you need to do step by step. If you want to look in the description, there will be time skips. So, if you have not installed the Japanese PS2, the easy way to do it is through the tweaker. Now, you can go to the main website and download it through there, but I cannot understand these buttons. I try to translate this thing, it, it does not translate half of it. So, the best way is to actually get tweaker. You want to get this thing? I just, I, uh, well, I took out mine because of the fact that I had to fix something. So, I'm going to go through it thoroughly. If your Windows security decides to do this thing, just to make sure you run it anyways. It's going to pop up, give it permission. Then, PSO2 tweak is going to start. Select the language you want to use it on, or whatever language you're comfortable with. I'm going with English. For this, I'm going to install this onto my... Over here. And then I'll put it into the programs files actually no this was uh yeah i guess i could put it on this c one actually is this on my c yeah this should be on my c yeah let's put it on the c then do that i can do that as well and then i launch it i already had it up here would you like to open a guy you can say yes or no i'm, I'm gonna say no i'm already familiar with it have you installed the Japanese, or have you installed PSO2 already? If no, select the PSO2 to, tweaker will install it for you. Yes, I have not installed it yet. So you guys go to North America or Japan. I'm going to go with Japan because I play on the Japanese PSO2. Have you installed the version of the PSO2 already? If no, wait, did I already say? And then da, 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 it says this will install the, what, install PSO2. Japan, please note that there is a torrent available da, 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 that would download and install the game faster than patching through Sega servers. If you continue uh, to select the folder, you a folder called PS2 Japan will be created inside the folder that you wish to choose. For example, if you go to GC Drive, it will install the Japanese PS2 Japanese. It's a high record that you do not install into programs, fire folder, but a normal folder like something like that. Alright, so we get to do that. I think it says not to put it into the thing, so we can make a new one. And we can say, just stick with PSO2 like that. And then we get to click OK. Do you wish to install PSO2 into the, 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 the And uh, we shall say yes. And then the program now install the necessary files, create the folder, and get the game ready for download. Press OK to start. So let's get it started to download. This is going to take a while. For it to do that. In the meantime, though, you will want to actually make a Sega account. Initial files have been installed. Here you go. We'll restart and begin downloading. Okay, right. so you want to hit yes. While it's doing this, you need to make a Sega account on, on the sidelines. You would need to download. Uh, would you like to continue this download? Yes. It's, it's going to take ages since there's a lot of data for this game. And it froze on me. Fuck me. So once you get past the freezing, you would want to give it a couple minutes actually. If it does freeze up on you, just wait until it responds and then it should look something like this. This is going to be a file where you're going to be downloading a bunch of stuff. This is going to be a lot of files for the Japanese PS2. Apparently there's like 88,352. Just wait till it is finished. You might want to do a double check after it's done. Go through the troubleshoot and check if you are missing any sort of files during this process. If it does not run up properly, then you are missing something and you would want to go through the troubleshoots and stuff. But let's talk about how to make your Sega account. So if you go to the main website, you get to click on this thing over here, this giant button. It's going to tell you that to actually do this process, you have to download it through these means. But since you're getting PSO2 Japan from Tweaker, you don't really need to do this, st uh, this stuff over here. The big thing you want to do, though, is make your account. You want to click on this button and with this button... Who the heck text me? Okay, shut up. I don't need that. With this, you are going to be taken to this screen over here. If you're using Google Chrome, you'll be able to translate it. Pretty much it wants an email. So I just made a new email. Because this motherfucker did not take a bunch of my other emails. So what I'm going to do is put this in. And hopefully it takes this stupid email. Once it does that, it's going to say that, uh, 
We are sending an email to this. You must uh, email the address you registered. Please access the URL that's in it. So I'm going to go and check this out. Hopefully it pops up. So I can't get an email to work. So I'm going to use old footage for my 2016 video when I explain how to make a Sega ID and explain how to get Japanese PS2 and all that. If you want to see that old version, it's in the description. But pretty much the four different tabs are pretty much the same. There might be a few differences, especially in terms of... Uh, the second one and talking about the Sega ID but I'm gonna just walk through this and explain this pretty much the first tab is asking for an email once you give them an email they should send it to the address all the emails I placed in and the new email that I made didn't one most of the accounts that I have apparently there's a Sega ID already attached to it which I'm fucking confused about then the new email I did um it's not registering or it's not picking up this goddamn email that's supposed to be sent to me. And when it comes to like trying to get it to resend, it does not seem to work. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna move on though. Pretty much for the second. Can I actually do that? No, it goes like through some seconds and whatnot. So I'm gonna let the video play itself out and I'll explain and pause at the certain points. The first option may not be available to you guys because once you, uh, well, let me explain. Once you get the email, you want to go to that email, click on the URL, it's going to take you to the second page. I don't think the Sega ID option is in the second option now because you do have to change your ID through PSO2 in-game. So this may not be a thing anymore. It kind of sucks in all honesty, but eh, it's whatever. Next one is going to ask you for a password. This is going to have certain requirements if you are able to translate it, you want to translate it. So it's going to ask us for a certain password, then the third line is going to be, or the one right after it telling you what to do for your password, it's a confirmation. Like it's just a redo of the password that you already placed in. The These ones, the one where you had to scroll down something, it is your security question. I have no clue if the translator can translate that, but then you get your security question and then you get to put in your answer for that. And then it's going to ask for a date of birth. Uh, you might want to translate it once again so you understand if this is months, days, or years. Later in the video, I do translate the thing. Surprise, I was able to guess all those. Yeah, so instead of it being like month, day, year, it's going to be year, month, date. And then you have security question and answer, then security question. Once you get through that though, you get to go to, I think, the third section, the third tab, or this might pop up. Yeah, th this should be it after that, yeah. It's gonna get you through a gotcha now, or a kappa. Pretty much with the kappa, you have to try to match what it is saying over here. I will have this keyboard in the description. You will want to pretty much find a letter. And just click on it and do whatever you need to do, like something like that. Once you got everything, you want to copy it and then you want to paste it over there. Once you go through that, it's gonna take you to a page where it's like... Okay, I fucked up on that one. Where it says complete uh, completion of registration. Or registration is complete. And then it's gonna send you a new... Well, it's gonna send you an email. After that, you're done. Then all you need to do now is wait for PSO2 Tweaker to be done with your download. It's going to take me a while, so I am going to cut away. I am currently 36,290 against 88,352. I might need to do a couple uh, tweaking. Once again, if there's any issue whatsoever, just go to the troubleshoot and fix it. If it's something very specific, then you might need to get some assistance with it. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I get into the game. So this is the login screen. When you get to this screen, you want to hit press the enter key. When you do that, you get to see term of use. You may want to read it. However, once you agree to it, you can hit the agree to terms. If you don't want to agree to it, you can hit the disagree, but just note that it will close out of the game. I'm going to hit agree to terms. And then there's a bunch of buttons over here to actually link to PSO2 ES. You actually had to go through the tutorial over there on that game. I will make a separate video talking about that later. There's the credits, there's also change user information. If you click on the second option, it will open up to the website to the Japanese PSO2. When I gotta do that, I'm gonna click on game starts. You wanna select the ship you wanna get on. 
I'm gonna cut away because obviously I do not want you guys to view my login information. So you'll see me in a few seconds when I get past the login screen. Once you select the server you wanna play on, and once you log in, to get started, you get to select on the first option, character selection creation. But before I do that, I do want to mention the fact that if you're brand new to the game, you will most likely have a generic player name or account name. The way to change that is to go to here, go to the selection menu, go to the support menu, click on change player ID, and this is how you change it. So when you log into the game and you see your account name is going to be PN, a bunch of numbers, this is how you change it. You will have a free chance to change it once, and then after that, you it will cost 3,000 ACs. So make sure that you have a good player name to use. I'm not gonna turn around with mine because I'm okay with that. I've used it for years now, so yeah. And then there's some other things you can check on this uh, menu over here. You can click on the friend invitation system. You can give out your player ID so people can use this as they log in and stuff. I can't remember what were the perks and benefits. Login history is gonna show you when you log in and stuff. I've been logging in like here and there constantly. And then there's the credits, but once you get to get started, you get to go to the first option. You get to select the character that you wanna play on if you have multiple characters, and then you will log into the game. All right, so I am in game right now. I'm on ship two. If you want to join ship two over here in the Japanese VSO2, you can. You can go to whatever ship you want. There are other English speaking players on these other ships. There might be a benefit to going to some of the other ones, especially like if it's something other than ship two. Some of the prices are actually cheap. But just note that when it comes to that sort of thing, there's a bunch of things you got to consider and you got to take note of. But yeah, this game is running fine. If you do bump into any sort of issues, once again, you might want to go through a troubleshoot. I decided to go through two runs of this so I downloaded the initial files and then like before I even started up the game I decided to check for any missing files again that took another hour or so so it's gonna take some time to do it and if you still bump into some sort of issue you want to get a hold of someone from discord or go to the reddit forums asking around look around for a solution to this the reason why I had to actually reinstall everything and why I'm remaking this video is because I needed to try to get something because I wanted my game to look very fucking pretty. I was trying to figure out why a bunch of fucking videos have like really good nice looking characters and like why some of these screenshots that I've been seeing from see people are really fucking good. And it's because of this motherfucker right here. Yes, this thing is G-Shade. I might make a video talking about it, but uh, let's just say that I... There was like a huge issue. I don't know why it was. Maybe it's because I downloaded North America PSO2 and something corrupted my Japanese files or something. Apparently there was some giant issue with my Japanese PSO2 folder. So I had to delete everything, reinstall everything. And now it's working perfectly fine because I talked to a friend of mine. They said like it's a one-time installation. Once you install it, there shouldn't be any huge issue afterwards. So yeah, I'm able to pull this thing up and holy shit, this thing can do a lot of things. Uh, I don't like the... What did I do? Uh, okay, decided to do the ambient. But yeah, I'm gonna turn around with this because it can do, oh God. <laughs> it can do a bunch of uh, effects here and there. Hopefully I can turn around with this thing and like drag, no, I can't drag it out of this damn window. Fuck, it's stuck here. Anyways, yeah, this this is why I had to reinstall everything for that particular thing. But anyways, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. If you need help, I'll try to guide you as best as I can. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.